obviously, you know, Carson, you know, becoming a scholarship player not too long ago, I think it just shows that our work pays off, and as long as you just keep working at it, you'll get what you want. We're always going to Starbucks or whatever, getting food and stuff before and after games, so it's so funny and it's kind of stupid at the same time. I mean, we all are, so honestly, I'm going to miss when they're all gone, so. And Carson, he's probably the biggest Purdue fan like in our locker room, and anytime he comes in at the end of the game, makes a great pass, makes a shot, you know, everyone's like acting surprised it's such a good pass, but you know, I, I'm not really surprised at all because that's just Carson. So like I've grown up going to Purdue games my whole life and seeing guys run out of the tunnel, and I always dreamed of doing that. So, you know, like that's one of the best feelings in the world is running down the tunnel with my teammates and some of my best friends and like seeing the crowd go crazy and the student section already packed. So it, it means a lot to me. I said it was my dream to be a Boilermaker. I always wanted to be a Boilermaker. I always wanted to wear 3-4 with Purdue across the front of my jersey. So being put on scholarship meant the world to me and my family. Um, I've worked extremely hard these four years to just you know, keep grinding and keep being a part of this program. I just, I just love the experience. Ever the first day that I stepped on campus, I know I walked into a locker room where like Travion Williams was on my team and Eric Connor and Aaron Wheeler, like those names. Like I like the, in high school, I watched those guys play. Like I was like, those guys are so cool. Like I, I looked up to those guys, and then be able to be in the same locker room as them was incredible. I would just say thank you for everything and like all the rest of my family, grandparents, uh, brothers, sisters, like just being able to share this experience with them has meant the world to me. I just wanna say thank you to Coach Painter for just giving me this incredible opportunity, letting a local uh, Lafayette kid get the, get the chance to be a part of something special. Chase is actually or one of my best friends here. So um, just having them, seeing them on the court and how hard they work up in the weight room and, and practice trying to get us better. I mean, they truly are really good people and really good basketball players. Uh, you know, Chase is obviously born into it. His dad being a great coach and uh, he works as hard as anybody in the weight room, gets his shots in every day. Chase, I think it just speaks to their selflessness. It's being leaders. More than any, anything, just bringing um, great energy to the team and, and trying to help in that way. Yeah, wearing the same jersey, same number, it just feels like legacy, you know. They had a lot of success here during the mid-90s. It's been great just to, you know, continue on that legacy, just have the same sort of success they did. Having all the support of Purdue fans saying they remember when your dad played and they're so happy to see you here, it's, a, it's you know, you can't really compare it to anything. So when you have great roles like my mom and dad, it's just hard not to want success for yourself and others. My mom, dad, and brother and sister, I would uh, say thank you for always being there for me, always uh, believing in me, and always uh, loving me, you know, through hard times and good times. You know, you guys make it easy to, to be the person I am, and uh, you guys make me want to be better each and every day. Yeah, to my teammates, I'd say thank you. Uh, you make uh, being at the gym for, I don't know, 20, 30 hours a week really fun, so I appreciate you guys, I love you guys, and uh, I'd do anything for you guys. To Coach Payne and the coaching staff, I'd say I appreciate you, you know, giving me this opportunity to come to Purdue, play for Purdue, study at Purdue, get a degree at Purdue. Uh, it means more than you guys can know. You know, I had known Ethan for a while just being at USA basketball camps, and then I came for a visit, and, you know, me, Ethan, and Zach went to Culver's, and, you know, Zach had chicken and rice, and we were walking in there, and it was just super casual, and it just kind of made me feel um, almost at home. We got a great house over there, and we, we really enjoy being together and kind of coming home after games, talking about the game, and then it's just something that you don't get to do very often and something you try not to take for granted, but when you got these group of guys and it's really enjoyable, it's something we're gonna remember for the rest of our lives. There's a reason Ethan's been a, a team captain two years in a row. Uh, there's not one guy he's gonna forget about on the team. I'll tell him from time to time, and I don't think he believes me, but you know, he's, he's truly the, the greatest teammate I've ever played with, the greatest leader our team could possibly have, the greatest captain our team could possibly have. It's, uh, it's weird. Um, it's crazy how fast the times went by. I mean, it feels like just yesterday, you know, I was playing my first game. You know, that, that's what I tell everybody that asks me, what, what makes Purdue special? It's just, it's real. And the, the relationships and the connections are real. It's one of the best collections of people I've ever had the opportunity to be around, and I know that it might be one of the best that I ever get to experience in my life, so that's why I've tried to really enjoy it, because it's just, it's an unbelievable group. And I think what's been great about our group is we've kind of made it our own, right? And I remember they were playing Chicago State, like one of the early games, and they beat them by like 80. But but it was it was sold out, it was packed, like it was like a game in March in there. We don't take 
the fans for granted. But when you, when that's all you've known is an environment, like it seems like natural, right? But like five years from now, I could look back. Like getting to do that every game was so, like so, so, so special. You know, when you watch other games too and you see like good environments on TV, whatever, and you're like, man, they have a good environment, but like it's nothing like what we have here, which is crazy. Just thank you for, for sticking with me. It hasn't always been easy. A lot of ups and downs in there for everybody. You know, everybody's everybody's going through something. So so just just for all those guys, just being there for, for not just me, but for each other. You know, I couldn't have asked for a better group of guys to come into this university with. He's always gonna give you a smile on your face. Um, he's always gonna talk crap to you. I mean, he's always gonna try to get under your skin, but I mean, I think at the end of the day, that's just what makes him him. Having him as a person, um, I mean, it, it makes me excited. It makes me really enjoy coming to play basketball every day. Again, the biggest thing is he just, he has fun a lot. Just somebody that's gonna go out, have fun, and kind of energize the team um, is really helpful. You know, whether it's on the court, you know, bringing all the energy uh, with his defense, with his offense, or with his little dance. Or I think it's pretty rare, and I think it speaks a lot to his character and just the infectious joy that he brings to, to those that are around him. Definitely, you, you always need a guy like that. Just somebody that's, that's always smiling and bringing light to your day. So I think that that's always a good person to have around you, someone like Lance. Stories don't do it justice, obviously. Hearing about it is one thing, but just being in it and living in it and playing in it, it's just a whole different animal. Honestly, I, you know, I can't really describe it. First couple of times, it was kind of a you know, state of shock. Uh, just to hearing you know, the whole place erupt like it, you know, it does, it's something I can't take for granted and I will never take for granted. Uh, I, I just can't really describe the feeling. I feel like they helped me bring a different level of confidence. Without them, I mean, I don't really know how uh, successful I would be this year so far. It's a big thing for me because I was once that little kid that looked up to the, you know, the the college players, you know, I treated them like they were NBA players. Um, just being a fan of the sport growing up is something that, I, you know, I kind of want to have a sense of giving back. You know, we always play, you know, video games. Uh, me, Zach, Fletcher, uh, Mason. Um, just having the type of bond that I have with these guys is, you know, it goes a long way. Um, and a lot of people don't really know how much time we spend with each other. I mean, I'm not tired of these guys at all. I mean, I just can't describe how, you know, grateful I am that, you know, these coaches took a chance on me and how the, the teammates have embraced me into the, the, the brotherhood, the familyhood that they have here. I mean, this last year is my final year as a college athlete has just like blown the roof off of my expectations. Just first off with Mason, he truly embodies that kind of blue collar, um, Purdue work ethic that, you know, I feel like it's talked about a lot. Mason has always been like, like the tough guy to, but that has a soft spot if you kind of find it in him. He always, always, always pushed me in the gym and every, everywhere. He has helped me a lot. Uh, it might not seem like it on the court because he's such an aggressive guy, but he's just uh, always looking out for us. And you know, when I was going through my knee injuries and stuff, he would text me every now and then because he'd been through it, just making sure I was all right and letting him know if I needed anything. I think it just started with who I came in with, you know? The people that were here before me, Eric, Sasha, Aaron, uh, no gel, Travion, you know, they're good guys. They're, they were a fun group to be around and they just showed me how to work. Coach Paint and PJ Thompson have always done a good job of letting us know that the program is bigger than us, letting us know that the program will go on after us and to try and leave it in a better place than what we found it. And so like my perception, my interpretation of that is to pour into the young guys, pour into the younger guys. But most importantly, I just want Purdue to be successful. Uh, like I said earlier, just the love from the fans. I think that's the biggest and most heartwarming thing. Uh, not every school gets it like we do. You know, you guys love us and we know that and we appreciate that. Um, it makes us more comfortable to take that shot, whether or not we're gonna miss or make it. We know you guys have our backs. Everywhere we've gone, we've pretty much had more fans than anybody else. Whether that was on the neutral site, whether almost playing at away games, there's been times where you guys have traveled and supported us more than the home team. Uh, I don't know if everybody realizes how much you guys mean to us, but we talk about it a lot in the locker room. We try and use you guys to give us more energy. We know we have to play well. We know we have to give you guys a show. And you guys kind of just push us across the finish line. The way Purdue is looked at, the way that the program is looked at, you know, we've put it in a great place. And that comes from people way before me, 
And that's why I want to pour into the people younger than me because we have a certain way we have to act. We have a certain standard to uphold. Uh, we've had a lot of great times, won a lot of games, uh, but we all know it's more than basketball. And so thank you guys for always being there because we are truly a family. You know, we argue like brothers, but we also cheer each other on like brothers. Um, I know I got their back and I know that they got my back. So looking back on all the memories, I know in 15, 20 years, I know I made a great decision to come to Purdue. And it's kind of setting that standard with Zach. I mean, it's as a player, you have to, whether you're competing against them, you're playing with them, you just have to be so much better as a player. I mean, he's just super vocal. Um, he gets us going by his screaming, his little finger pointer thing. So, I mean, usually if you're the best player in the country, you just try to think about me, 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 and I think he's the complete opposite. Um, he cares about everybody else. Even more zoned in on that, just his humility uh, speaks volumes. Obviously, being the, the best player in the country, he, he could go around, you know, knowing that he's a head taller, literally and figuratively, than everyone else. But, you know, he doesn't go around that way. He goes around with a servant's attitude. He's down to earth. He's grateful. He's humble. So I think that's, you know, really something that, that, that's good to have as a leader and a senior and just to have somebody to set the example for you. Yeah, like years from now, I'm not going to remember Zach because of all the awards he won, but just because of the guy he was off the court. I'm going to miss Zach in every way except for being his roommate and dealing with his messes. A lot of people overlook him outside. Uh, like, he, he's generally the, one of the most humble and down to earth guys I know. And, like, he actually cares for everyone on the team, like, genuinely. Uh, I had a really rough period last year, and I remember. He was like the first one to text me and like actually I showed up back home to my apartment and found like a bag of candy and like a little t uh, note from him and I remember I was like, damn, uh, it was so, so unexpected. Yeah, this year's been everything I've wanted to be so far. Having a great time with the guys, enjoying every, every um, away game, enjoying every home game, enjoying every practice. Um, I couldn't have asked for a better group of guys to spend it with. It's just kind of my way to always give back to Purdue. I feel like Purdue's given me so much. Um, you know, you give back, sign some stuff for the kids, sign some stuff for, for old fans too, sign, like for everyone. I think it's my, my way of just kind of giving back to Purdue, who's given me so much. I, I would just say thank you to all the fans. Um, like, thank you so much. Uh, you guys have shown support on the court, off the court. Uh, you made our team feel really loved uh, every single game. Yeah, I've, I've never played a game at Mackey that hasn't been sold out. Um, never played in where it's, not, where it's not a great environment. I think people kind of take it for granted sometimes because a bad day at Mackey can be like another team's really, really good day. Being in other arenas kind of makes you appreciate it more, but uh, it's the best environment in the country and playing in front of the paint crew and everyone is it's, it's amazing every single game. Start with Coach P. He stayed in those late nights, eight, like 8 p.m., 7.30, 9, like watching film, getting shots up. Coach Payne gave me a shot at this level. Um, he believed in me. A lot, of, a lot of schools kind of came through those IMG doors, and uh, he was only one of the only coaches that really believed in me. Uh, that's all I've ever asked for. They've always given me a chance. They've always given me opportunities. Uh, I've made the most of them, but Payne, Payne, he's been with me from day one. He's always believed in me, Coach B, all the, all the coaches, all my teammates. Like, they really, really believed in me and given me a shot at this level, and uh, I really, really will be in, in debt for them for a long time for that.